In this video, I will provide you with a list of topics that I think every starter scripter should focus on while learning. This is the list of everything I've used to make my projects. I just wanted to make a little video of everything I used and maybe that way you have a better idea on what to focus on. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's start with the honorable mentions. There are things that didn't really make it into the list since they're very, very basic and pretty much obvious for scripters. In honorable mentions, we have if statements, while loops, for loops, and repeat loops. Coding games, for the most part, when you're coding interaction, you're mostly just going to be using if statements and loops so honorable mention to them i use them in every single one of my projects okay now let's start with the actual list and we'll go in order of how basic these things are now number one is debugging all debugging is is just using print statements to find errors in your code even if it doesn't appear in the input manager if you don't know how to do this i made a video on it it'll be on a card on the top right corner of the screen this is incredibly important because anything that you code when you're starting is gonna have errors and if you don't know how to find them and solve them you're just gonna get stuck and you're gonna lose too much time searching for the errors so debugging deserves the first spot on the list moving on to number two twinning okay so if i'm being honest you won't really be using twinning as often as some stuff in the list but sometimes using twinning makes it incredibly easy to move stuff around the workspace in a very smooth manner that's the only reason why i put it here it makes it so easy to smoothly move things to a desired destination and yeah that's all for number two next number three C frame. You don't really need to fully understand what C frame is, you just need to understand its applications. With C frame, you can easily position or rotate a part in relation to another part. So, if you want to spawn something in front of your character with the same orientation of your character, whatever your character is or how it's positioned, this is what you use. This is very useful, for example, for setting a projectile in the desired starting point before it moves. Next, number four body velocity and linear velocity. This is a must learn. This is used to push characters in a specific direction or any object really. This is what people use to make, for example, super jumps, double jumps, dashes. You can pull things or you can push things if you know how to use this very well. This is also what people use to move projectiles like bullets, arrows, etc. I also made a video about it. It'll be in the top right corner of your screen. Next, number five, set network owner. This is going to sound complex and it's something that I didn't really learn until a couple of months ago, but it's very useful. Sometimes, depending on what you're doing, there's a delay between what's happening in the server and what's happening in the clients if you want the delay to disappear for a specific part then you can change the ownership of that part from the server to a specific client making it so the server replicates what is happening in the client if you're confused let me know and maybe i'll make a video on it i can't explain it a lot in this video because there are a lot of things we need to cover next is actually a two in one remote and bindable events and remote and bindable functions well i guess that makes it a four in one right it doesn't matter Basically, what these things do is make it possible for a server script and a local script to interact or if it's a bindable, then it makes it possible for a server script to interact with another server script or a local script to interact with another local script. The best example I can give, at least in regards to remote ones, is input management. You press a key, which is done in a local script, of course, and then you throw a fireball, which happens in a server script. Okay, so next, before we move on, the things listed from this point on are a lot less common in their use, but they're very important because for the few things that you'll be using them for, they're pretty much the best way to do them next is number yeah i forgot what number this is hold on let me count number seven okay ray casting number seven this is what you use to see if there's something in the line of sight of another part this is very useful for when you're coding artificial intelligence or npcs you don't want npcs to start following you trying to attack you if they're not seeing you right unless they have like the biakugan or something but chances are that's not the case so this is what you use to check if a part can see another part we're almost done here stay with me next is pathfinding also essential for coding ai or npcs it makes it very easy to set a path for npcs to follow this is what you use for your npcs to know how to get to a specific destination a real time saver up next is teleport service which essentially teleports a player between a base plate or experience however you want to call it for example you see how in some games they teleport you to another game that's inside the game i don't know if you understand what i'm saying like in the woken they teleport you to the depths if you die three times yeah 
this is what they use and finally the last thing on our list data store essential for just one big thing it's what allows you to save data in your games and also retrieve it and manipulate it this is a must for every scripter and for some reason one of the most difficult things to learn for a lot of people who are starting i don't usually do tutorials but if enough people ask me for a tutorial on this then i'll do it because i can see how many of us have struggled with this and that's pretty much it for the video also i have a discord server i'll be in there every saturday night trying to help you with development answering your questions etc it can get wild sometimes in there but we do our best to help each other it's the first link in the description so if you're interested in that you know what to do this said i hope today's video is helpful keep leveling up bro be safe and i'll see you when i see you peace